I feel like a teacher. <laughs> okay, how the hell do you see my fucking screen? Okay, let's go. Okay. Thank you so much for this, by the way. No, that's all right. You got it. Okay, so whoever is joining can join. No, whoever can join can join now. Okay. I don't know who else is coming, so I'm just going to wait for them. Sounds good. I don't mind waiting. You know, since it's recording, I'm just going to do it now. Okay. Um, so the first thing you do is obviously download the two things. Uh, you have the document, then you have the Excel sheet. And it's rather simple with the with absolutely everything except for the restaurant comparison, which might be a bit hard. So down here, you have the normal. And then you have um, so then you have the page layout. Go and switch the page layout. And then over here, and then you're just going to see the header. So immediately in the mail header, type in restaurant comparison, hit enter, that saves. You can hit exit after that. And then go and then hit back to normal. Everything else is simple. Um, but up to six, use the fill handle to fill the range E6, E10 with the formula in cell E5. This is cell, okay, this is cell E5, this cell right here. All this is going to be blank. So I'm just going to make this all blank just so it'll be easier. Because I made this mistake um, initially, um, I just typed in, I just made all this sum. But over here, we have a formula right up here, uh, equal sum B5 to D5. I kept typing that in all down. Don't want to do that. So you're going to click the next cell, hit home. And over here, it says fill. You're going to hit down immediately. And it takes the formula from E5 and brings it down to E6 and so on. So that's what you're gonna to wanna to do the rest of the way. It might get a bit tedious, but it's all good. Film down, down. And this is also gonna be blank. This is gonna be blank. So what they're going to do after that, they're going to say, enter a form uh, on number seven. They're going to say, enter in B11 right here. Um, where the hell does it? Enter formula that uses the sum function to total range B5 to B10. This is very simple. When you want to get the sum, the formula is simple. You're going to hit equal sum parentheses b5 
and it's going to highlight. Uh, I think that's a sem not a semicolon, a colon. Then you're going to do B, B10. Enter. It's going to give you the tone for this. And just like we did before, home fill, except you're going to do what was on the right. Hit right, it will give you the same formula and give you this answer for that. Same thing, right? Home. Right. Okay. So Burger Shack, after that, you're just going to type in 2018-2020 profit to what just tell you on the paper. And number nine was a bit confusing for me, but they give you um, a cell table, values at the range B20 to D20, B20 right here to D20. So this is all going to be blank on the Excel sheet. So just type in what the value is for B20. That is 25200. Oops. 25200 tab 264110 tab 25780. And essentially, what you're going to do for the total, going to do the absolute same thing that you did over here. Home, fill, uh, down or right, depending on which one you want to do. For the difference, I actually have to look that up because I'm not too sure about that. <laughs> difference, like so. Okay. So that's actually a very simple. Calculate the difference between two numbers. Uh, okay. So in B cell, and so B25, enter a formula that subtracts the value in cell B21 here, and from cell B11 here. So basically what you're going to do, you're going to hit equal, and then you're going to hit B11, 11, minus B21, enter, that's going to give you the difference. And then you're going to do absolutely the same thing for C to E. For C, so over here, fill, is that right? Use a fill the formula in cell B25. All right. So we'll do that right. Demo. Fill right. Okay. And then the total is just going to be. Then you're just going to do the sum for that. Then fill right. Okay. So, one second. Find the grid lines for profit analysis. Okay. View uh, grid lines, mark that off. And then change the orientation of the worksheet to landscape. Page layout. What the hell is landscape? Orientation, landscape. Okay, so I'm going to be reviewing, see what it is, make sure it's correct. Okay, save it, and that's basically what all you have to do. So, yeah. Oh my gosh, okay, thank you so much. Like, this means so much to me, because I was so confused when I looked at it at first, and I like literally exited route. <laughs> Okay. All right. Thank I'm just going to share that once it's done. All right. Okay. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Have a good day. Bye.